This is the Corman, the Stephen and Toby Corman property. And I remember going with him and Lou kept describing it as a savanna and that there would be lions out ahead as we walked. I started out immediately. I studied Lou's plan and it was a very precise demand and they were sports oriented. They wanted tennis courts and a swimming pool. So the first thing that I did was to plant a forest of pine trees. I probably should have tried to create a deciduous forest here, but I didn't, I chose pine trees. They're there now, they're very mature. But I wanted to begin to create a landscape that enveloped the house and welcomed the house and made it seem as though it had always been there. And then to determine where the tennis court and the swimming pool would not be so conspicuous. And one of the exciting things was to create an arrival, which was a kind of processional to discover this house, but not to have it revealed immediately as it, in the barren site when it went up, it was completely naked and alone. To create some sense of surprise with a curved driveway, and also to stop your view at one point, you would see the house emerge from the woodland that was created, but also to close your view and prevent your experience of seeing the far savanna until you got into the house. When you came into the great room with a sudden view and vista of the long view and made Lou Kahn speak about the, the traveler from the distance who comes and sees in the distance the chimneys, smells the smoke of the, of the hearth and the lights of a dwelling in the distance.